Hi, welcome to Don's Workshop. This is part seven of my Lego Corvette build. Last time, got all this front bumper put in, as well as all this all connected, and now these fenders are formed for the most part. So let's get into the next part. Okay, got things sorted out here, so let's get started. Okay, putting a bunch of detailed tile and slopes on here. So we got all these, got these two printed tiles, two by six printed tiles, hooking up that, the top here. And then we have all these, we 24 of these slopes. Let's look like six on each fender here. Or 12 on each fender, oops. Yeah, always the one stud connection on those corner plates. I think this is the first thing you get rid of is all these these slopes, just push that down, make it all nice and smooth. Lined up. That is uh, quite nice uh, detail going on here with these curves. Okay, there's more. More to be put on later. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, now here come the headlights. So we put these printed tiles and put the... Is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. That's pretty neat. Never seen these kind of tran these transparent like disc lights before. Let's put them in the donuts and then they actually go on. Now do I line looks like are they going like okay, they go like that. They match up the rounded with the rounded fender there. That's pretty nice. And it just nicely matches up with the rounded fenders. Those headlights. Okay. Got four of these with the slopes and the two thirds bricks. Those go in. Okay, one goes here. Goes on the other side here. We're just filling in these gaps over here and then we're putting them on, on this side, leaving this gap here. Probably for the door. Connection. Okay, now what do we got here? We're gonna take this jumper, hook these two modified plates together. And that's gonna sit on top here. Okay, well that's interesting. And we have a red tile going there and these modified plates.
Oh, here we go. A door. We have a door. Oops, wrong one. Okay, we got brackets going up and brackets going down. Okay, we got a slope. It's an inverse slope. A two by four jumper. Okay. I'm making this white. Piece here. Jumper. Then this tall slope, curved slope, and the inverse curved slope underneath. Making that nice piece. And that slides in on the jumper and matches up with that slope. Okay, and then we have this slope going over top of it. Okay. I'll take two of these and put them underneath and put that on top or making this side with snot brackets and then we're gonna put a big old slope on there and we got a plate to put on the other side is that right okay and Okay, now that's supposed to slide in here. So it's like this. Like that. Okay, that's something. Oh, we got the handle. I guess that's the, I think that's the door lock. I would guess that little gray tile. Oh, there's a curved plate over here and then the curved slopes on top that'll match up the rest of the, with the rest of the side of that car with the on the fenders and the rest of the car in general Ooh, okay so we'll put these two together don't know why they look pink that cut plate or cut uh, tile and a printed tile and then that goes on top there that's very nice nice and smooth going in here. Oh, it matches that existing gray piece there. Okay. That there. This curved slope. We got the door handle and the window. Is that the window roller? think so. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they can... Uh, could you do like that and make it look... Nah, that doesn't really fit. That's a little too big. 
And let's see, that's gonna go on this side. Can I snap that in onto those hinges? Okay, and then, oh, there we go. Nice, nice solid fit there. Now the other door. I'm technically making making the doors before making the seats, which is unusual. You usually make the seats first. Okay. Get the other door. first before putting this other piece in, I guess. And snap that on there. And that hinge goes like that. Then all these curved slopes. together a little better. on and 
and then the end of the pinstripes. Oh, I saw that it was going up here somewhere. You can't go back, so I'll... I just noticed that before I turned the page. Okay. Well, that has been part seven of my Lego Corvette build. Got the doors on this time, along with some more of the finishing detail on the top of the fenders. Anyway, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take it easy.